Ya we have scan. They gonna get any gas on it and go away car. Andrea cook any gas on it and you on car. Can you go yo? One and that you know you were going to that. Can I get it here? They gonna get on gas top. So I'm Andrea Cook and I'm Onondaga and I told my native name and that I'm Deer Clan from the Onondaga Nation. Remember, uh, I'm an Onondaga clan mother of the Deer Clan. Okay, and I've been that since I was 21 years old, which is like 1981. So I have, um, I'm also a teacher here at the Salamanca High School and I teach 7th grade, 8th grade, and some 9th, 10th, and 11th graders. So. The notes here are on the Grand Council when an issue comes before the Confederacy. The five plus now six nations, Tuscarora is in there. So they always start with the Thanksgiving address and the man by the name of Tiradaho will bring the issue to council, okay? So they have a dip, so each side they take turns and get to discuss this. So I have this as my notes to help me through it. You can see that the elder brother will announce they're thinking on a matter, but before they do this, I realize I left out the notes. They announce how many people have come with them and, and why they're there and if they have something that's really pressing and things like that, but they always send their greetings from their village. That's something that's traditional in the Great Law and the Gairio. So <clears throat> when they bring an issue in, Tiradaha will put the issue out there after they've done their, their greetings and then they send it over to the elder brothers who will think whatever that issue is. And then it says the younger brothers will discuss it amongst themselves and they'll send theirs. And when they send theirs back across the fire, so they'll bring the issue in and the young older brothers will discuss it, send it across over here, they'll discuss it, send it over there, and everybody's in agreement on it, but they gotta stand up and say I agree on it, and you know, after we discussed it, they discuss it for a while, they deliberate on there, and the word for issue is oiwa, that's the root word. So we use that a lot in, in any in anything that happens in a longhouse, you hear that root word a lot. Once they agree on the issue, the Onondagas will say, yes, it's apparent, everybody's agreeing on it. That's when it'll become law. So it's really like, okay, it's a real simple process, but the deliberation is the piece that makes it difficult. When they deliberate back and forth, and once they agree, unanimously, everyone, Scott Hendoya on Watnik going, our minds will be one, then the issue has been resolved and then it becomes law. And that's one of the hardest parts where we all know we have to be of one mind. And until then, that's when they sleep on it and let it rest. But if they can think about the process, and I think sitting there is the hardest thing, hearing whatever you're hearing and putting it through your mind. But, so if the younger brothers agree with the elder brothers, then the Mohawk Nation will announce their agreement to the Anadaga Nation, oops, sorry. And then, if it's consistent with the law, they'll announce that it'll become law. Very simple. But the big piece about that is, let's say it doesn't, okay? If they found some fault with it, they could send it back and be reconsidered, and the same process would go over and over and over. And then maybe a clan mother might have some input. She would go down to her chief and let them know that they have something they want to say. And then they'll be given the permission to talk. There's protocol and procedure for all of that. Then at the end of, they might make their decision, but they might say, let's see what the clan mothers say, let's see what the people say, and then they open it up for discussion. So that's pretty cool. I think that that's where that due process comes in. If they disagree, okay, with the, with the elder brothers and they ask that they reconsider uh, their thinking, they would have their, their little caucus again and sit down and talk and deliberate. And sometimes the thought process is very time consuming and they can go all the way down and it can go back and forth and back and forth and they would announce it again and then it would become the law throughout the territory. If by, say, it's getting dark and they have going back and forth and they haven't agreed on it, then they announce that they would sleep on it. We will sleep on the issue and we'll reconvene the next morning or even another, another time, totally not even the next morning, to do that over and over again until it becomes law. So I had a traditional issue, and that's, as, and so they start out with this when they, it's something similar to this that they say, we have these issues and we're gonna do this, and we're gonna find the best solution possible. 